Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're well. And let's continue with Laravel Valley. And now we're going to take a look at, let's see here, paths. Okay. I'm going to type in valet links. We're going to unlink these. Okay. So we're say valet unlink and we're going to say fundamentals and we're going to do valet unlink and we're going to do my app. So they've been removed. So if we were to type in valet links, we will see that we don't have any more links. We'll clear that. We're going to say valet paths. And you can see there's only one path. And what we're going to do is we're going to CD up a directory, PWD. And I want to park right here. I want to tell valet that I'm going to want everything in this projects folder to be linked to valet so that you can serve up my projects. So I'm going to say valet park. And this directory has been added to valet's paths. So if I say valet paths, I can see now that I have a new directory. Now, how does that work? If I say valet list and I was able to see the, the paths and if I said parked, I can see all of the current sites within the parked path. So if I say valet parked, it's kind of done the same thing as linked, but what it does is the, the whole entire directory. So if I park the projects directory, it'll list all of the sites or all of the projects that I have within here with their URLs and the path to those projects and the versions of PHP that they're using. And then I will still be able to do things like this. I'll be able to go valet open and I can say my app and it will open my app. Whether you want to park an entire folder within where all your projects are, you can use that. Or maybe you only want to do one at a time. You want to link just a specific folder and just serve it up using valet. Uh, that's how you get around doing that. And I hope that makes sense. And there'll be one more thing here that you notice is an X here. And that tells you also that there's an SSL certificate here. And this myapp.code is also uh, secure. It's locked. Okay. So that's path and that's parked and that's paths. And that is also parked. So how do you forget or how do you unpark a directory? So for instance, right now, if I PWD, I'm in the projects and let's say I want to, I don't know, let's go up a directory and we'll CD into code. I have another directory called code. I want to valet, I want to park this. So this has also been added to my path. So if I say valet paths, I can see that I now have um, the site's definition directory. I have the projects directory. And if I was to do a valet paths on this, I would list all the other projects that are available in this directory as well. So I can park multiple folders and valet would add them to their paths. And then I can, you know, just call those or open them in a browser whenever I want. So if you want to forget something, you can say valet and you can say forget, right? And the command is up here and it basically unparks. So it removes the current working directory specified from Valet's list of paths. All right, so since I'm in the present working directory and it's, you know, users Williams K code, if I just type in Valet forget, it'll remove the path. And then we could say Valet paths and we will see that that's been removed. And that's how you, you know, park a path, add a path to Valet and forget is how you unpark or remove a path from Valet. Okay, let's check out a couple more. So we have, we could do diagnose. So if we say valet and we run diagnose, what this will do, if you just look up here real quickly, it'll output diagnostics to help you debugging valet. So sometimes valet is a little quirky and it has some things in it that, you know, may not be working and you wanna track that down or log it or, or check it out. So by running this command, it'll take a few moments and what it will do is it'll give you a file and you can check that out inside of an editor or some other thing or like that. So we can just say code and I'll call it VS code and then I'll paste this in. What this is basically is the output file from the diagnostic that we ran on Valet. So it kind of tells you, you know, what I'm using, uh, the version, you know, my loopback, and it's got a bunch of things that I've, you know, for my paths and it goes on and there'll be more specific details around certain things. I need to take a look at, I just run a diagnostic and I copy that to my clipboard and I try to figure out what's going on. So that is that one. We'll clear that. We're going to skip share. We did start, we did stop, we did TLD, we did trust, we did uninstall and we did unlink and unsecure. And that's it for this one, guys. I will see you later. Take care. So don't forget to like, subscribe, 
Let me know your thoughts below. Hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Until next time.